an authentic spiritual guru brothers and sisters while initiating you in brahma gyan also activates this third eye or divine eye at forehead the seeker now sees within quotes s double e s sees practically experiences clearly perceives the divine light and visions here there is no visualization no imagination no hallucination it is direct inner observation atma darshanam atma sakshatkaram heard of the term called spiritual astronauts yajurved and atharved both these indian texts of wisdom contain this term it is said that when acharyas or teachers of vedic gurukuls initiated their pupils in spiritual knowledge called brahma gyan then they basically used to lift their mind their mental consciousness from the region below navel up to this sacred point on forehead called agnya chakra in vedas this area below navel is called gross earthly plane prishtat prithiviya and the region above the forehead this area is called antariksh the celestial space so those spiritual seekers whose rocket of consciousness took an upward flight from navel to forehead and got established in the orbit of agnya chakra antrikshat divam aruham they were titled as divya arohan karta or spiritual astronauts this is actually brothers and sisters the signs the eternal signs of self realization brahma gyan the same scientific message has been conveyed to us by some of the pyramids across the world most often you have seen pyramids in triangular in conical shape like this but there are some exclusive pyramids which are seen undone unfinished from top like el castillo in mexico nubian pyramids also some ancient pyramids from ireland cambodia babylon you can see that they do not have a capstone the upper cone why one of the obvious reasons is that they were chopped by the natural forces but there is also a secret reason revered gurudev shri ashutosh maharaj ji told that behind the construction of these pyramids were some men of wisdom who deliberately left these pyramids incomplete from top why because they wanted to communicate a great non verbal message to humanity that your human body is also like a pyramid If you live a gross earthly life limited to materialistic pleasures and you do not get this upper frontal lobe awakened you do not aspire to raise your consciousness to this top sacred space then you are also like these trimmed pyramids unfinished pyramids your existence is incomplete you are complete only when the top sacred space your third eye your divine eye is activated here and this is what you can clearly see in the great seal of united states on your screen you can see on the top of this unfinished pyramid there is a triangle with an awakened lightened eye so message is loud and clear brothers and sisters seek the path of self realization brahma gyan through a perfect spiritual guru or mystic get this upper software awakened and then consciously live a higher life here not a lower earthly life below the navel now the next obvious question is how does the science of brahma gyan help us in living a higher life here how does brahma gyan lifts our mental consciousness to this sacred space of agnya chakra what's the process look at this circuit diagram on your screen this is the diagram of your subtle body it has two breathing channels for some time we breathe through left channel ida some time through right channel pingala these two channels 
keep our breaths and mind limited to gross earthly plane. But please note, there is also a third middle channel encased in our spine called Shushmana channel. This remains inactive, dormant all through our life. However, when a spiritual mystic, an authentic spiritual guru initiates you in the science of Brahma then he activates, opens up this central path of Shushmana. And now the wonder happens, mystical wonder happens. Your breath along with your mind leaves its left and right root and enters into this central pathway of Shushmana. Tasmat Pranoyam Shushmanam Vrajiti Swata. Automatically, breath and mind start flowing inside this central Shushmana. And brothers and sisters, you can see in the circle diagram that this central Shushmana is the direct royal path that leads to this divine sacred space in the upper region. Same. Same profound idea is depicted in the common structure of ancient temples of Egypt. They are called triptych temples having three doors, left door, right door and central door. These doors basically symbolize Ida, Pingla and Shushmana, the three channels inside the human circuit. Now please note, just above the central door, you can see in the image, just above the central door, a symbol called Aten, Sun Eye. The third eye is depicted. Researchers have found that these triptych temples in Egypt were actually the third eye awakening centers or Brahmagyan initiating centers. Therefore, these temples through their structure give out a clarion call to the humanity. Enter not through your left or right door. Means enter not through your left or right channel. Let your mental consciousness enter through the central door of Shushmana so that it can reach directly up to this awakened third eye or this higher divine space. So this is how the very initiation into the science of Brahmagyan opens up the path for us to live a higher life, divine life, brothers and sisters. and not only the central path of Shushmana. An authentic spiritual guru, brothers and sisters, while initiating you in Brahma also activates this third eye or divine eye at forehead. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, this eye sees not outside, but inside. Infinite inner world and its divine visions are now revealed to the view of this eye. The seeker now sees, within quotes, S double E S sees, practically experiences, clearly perceives the divine light and visions here. This is no visualization, no imagination, no hallucination. It is direct inner observation. Atma darshanam, atma sakshatkaram. A Vedic Rishi shares his inner experience with us. He says, Chakshur madhe gat jyotihi stalam. Within these two eyes is a divine space full of light. Vilokya Antardrishtaya, this lighted divine space can be seen and explored through inner vision of third eye. And after seeing this divine light, Niritishya Sukham Prapanoti, meditator experiences the boundless happiness and bliss. Brothers and sisters, this spiritual experience through third eye is the universal truth. And therefore, we find an explicit mention of this divine eye in all authentic sects, faiths, cultures across the world. Hinduism glorifies it as Divya Chakshu or Tritya Netra or Shiv Netra. Sikhism calls it Divya Drishti. Jainism calls it Anant Chakhu. Buddhism calls it Divya Chakhu or Urna. Ancient Greek culture calls it Pythagorean eye on forehead to see divine and its divinity. Egyptians call it Aten, the sun eye, eye that sees the divine sun inside. And even modern science today calls this third eye zone as pineal gland. Scientists have found that this pineal gland has inbuilt photoreceptors, means it has hidden ability to see non-physical realities. 
So again, the message is clearly loud and profound. Get your divine third eye activated through Brahma Gyan process and see and experience the divine light and divine visions in your inner world. But why see? Why experience? What for? How it is going to help me? Many seekers often say, I am basically interested in a meditation technique to keep my mind positive and focused, a technique which I can practice on my own at my home. Then why get into this unnecessary hassle of approaching an authentic spiritual guru, getting initiated into Brahma Gyan and then see divine light here? Why? Please understand brothers and sisters, experiencing divine light is not an unnecessary step. In fact, it is the indispensable intermediary step to actualize your defined target that is the positive and focused mind. Let me explain you how. You know that there is a gravitational force which pulls everything down towards the earth. Yeah, we all know that. But do you also know that there is also a metaphysical gravitational force which pulls your mind towards the gross earthly plane, below the navel. And that's why your mental consciousness naturally remains grounded to the lower energy centers below navel. And here at these lower centers, your mind cannot think anything positive, not at all. No matter how much you stuff your mind with passionate counseling, suggestions, moral lessons, I have to be good, I have to be nice, I have to be large hearted, but in a spur of the moment you will bounce back to the same old negativity, same depression, same addiction, same complexities. Why? Because gravitational pull of lower centers is at work. Let's name this lower region below Neville as South Pole. If we want our mind, our thought process to rise up from the South Pole, then what we are supposed to do? Create a North Pole against this South Pole. A positive North Pole which is stronger than this negative South Pole. And brothers and sisters, let me tell you that this is what Brahmgyan's process does. When Brahmgyan's process reveals the divine light and vision in the forehead, it basically creates a very strong electromagnetic field, a powerful North Pole at this high energy center. The divine attraction of this North Pole is much, much higher than the gravitational pull of the South Pole. Therefore, after initiation into Brahma Gyan and subsequent meditation practice of only few days, we find our mind easily pulled up and fixed at this divine space of North Pole. Now our mind, our thought process tends not to fall down to negative South Pole. Mind remains stable and focused at this higher divine center. Brothers and sisters, this is, this is the eternal method and I would say the only sure shot method to make your mind divinely positive and healthy. Now let's talk about the third type of experience that you get when initiated in the science of Brahma Gyan. It is that of Anhad Nad, the cosmic sound or music within this inner divine space. Bina bajaye, nishtin baje, ghanta shankh nagade re, behra sun sun mast hote hai, tan ki sudhi bisare re. Saint Kabir of India says that even without these ears or hearing ability, you can listen to the variety of divine sounds which are somewhat similar to the thunder of clouds, sweet melody of flute, awakening sounds of drum, conch shells, jingles of bells and these melodious symphonies, divine symphonies have tremendous calming effect on our nerves and mind. All the psychosomatic disorders, fears, phobias, complex feelings and thoughts which are fossilized deep in our subconscious mind, which even psychiatrists and therapies cannot unravel. This Nad, the cosmic sound reaches even to such deep unexplored realms of our mind. Nad Bindu Upanishad says, Dubda Ambuvan, as milk mixes completely with water, similarly 
नादे मना एक ही भुआत when you listen to nad when you intently focus meditate your mind on cosmic sound inside here then this nad or cosmic sound also mixes completely with your mind enters in every speck in every deep corner of your mind and divinely cures every thought of your mind this way nad the cosmic sound of inner world proves out to be the ultimate the most definite solution to all our psychological problems chittam sthiram yasya vina amvalam sa brahm tarantar nad roopam nad brings such a solace inside such a solace that you need no other friend to empty your mind so brothers and sisters this is the complete algorithm of brahma gyan's diksha or initiation process one revelation of central path shushmana leading to this house of divine two revelation of divine light and visions at third eye three revelation of cosmic sound nad in this divine inner space and when we focus our mind on any of these divine experiences or elements during meditation we witness a definite change in the way we think in the way we behave and conduct in the way we you know take decisions and carry ourselves in the way we live our lives so why delay brothers and sisters come forward and receive this all time priceless spiritual knowledge the eternal science of brahma gyan millions of people across the world have already received this free spiritual gift from his holiness ashutosh maharaj ji i can say they have become successful spiritual astronauts with their life's rocket established in this divine orbit you can listen to the testimonies right from their heart i had doubts regarding the existence of god but when somebody told me that god can be seen it was simply unbelievable for me but now i can see that divine light here through my third eye and when you see it you know it how can you doubt it friends it is here right here the door to the heaven when i got initiated into brahma gyan's meditation it is here that i saw heavenly visions with my eyes closed i can vouch it today that god can be seen one day as i sat in sadhana i saw billions of tiny shiny jewels raining from the sky within my inner world my inner self was dancing with joy god can be seen Divine light can be seen God can be seen Divine light can be seen This is the true spirit of your Brahma gyan yog Tat gyan yog Sagama gama gama gasani sare re sapani sare re By Guruji grace, I have seen a vivid glimpses in my inner world. Once I saw deities sitting in Dhyan Sadhana. I also saw divine sages of yesteryears, and all these divine experiences left me with a warm feeling of divine love. Full of life, full of joy, full of peace. This is the life of a corporate like me today thanks to divine guru dev shri ashish guru If you ask me why I have chosen to meditate the Brahm gyan way it's to connect deeper with my soul to clarify visions gain spontaneous guidance and enhance my intuition in order to make wiser choices Brahmgyan sounds like something just for the ancient times, but that's not true. It's for us, the 21st century youth, the Gen Z generation. The divine light really helps us calm our jumpy nerves. Not just closing the eyes, activating third eye. Mind rises too high, rejecting wrong, choosing right. This is the true spirit of your. Brahm Gyaniyo, Tat Gyaniyo. I am a modern day yogi. Each of my inner experiences is like a newer 
adventure. I can travel light years in my inner world. All the while, sitting in the rock young sun. There was a time when I attended numerous sessions, courses, therapies and talks. They helped, but only to a certain extent. But when I received Ramgyan's therapy and focused out my third eye, I became self-reliant and I was able to find solutions right here. Believe me, brothers and sisters, we all need this science of Brahmagyan. Life can really be different with Brahmagyan's meditation. So, try it out at least once. Thank you.